All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the equipment NPCs have and how to add items uh, with the, the toolkit uh, for Baldur's Gate 3. So as you can see here in this example, I have uh, Shadowheart and I changed her base equipment to just have some underwear, a flame sword and a toy sword or a wooden sword. I think this is a practice sword. And I gave her two pairs of boots of speed and 420 gold. So let me show you how that's done. Um, some requirements before we, we continue. Uh, I'm gonna be using the unlock toolkit modification for this. So make sure to download that. I have a video on that that you can check out. And other than that, I think that's the only requirement that you'll need. So let's get into it. So let's let's create a mod. So we're gonna go up here and create. Okay, so we're gonna find the act one. So we're gonna go to act one and then we're gonna find the main, which is what the game is using. So let's load that up. All right, so we're here in the uh, Act 1 map. So let's find our character. For this video, I'm going to be editing Shadow Hearts equipment and gear and items. So let's search up here to try to find her and then let's uh, filter by only NPCs. So double click her, should take us to where she is. So she's not showing up because in this case, the player character is Shadow Heart. So using Control T, you can teleport your player and you have control in the editor. So again, in this case, our player character is Shadow Heart, so that's why she wasn't showing up there. So to change equipment, you're going to have to create a equipment uh, file, a equipment stats file. So we're gonna go to the stats editor up here. So we're gonna click this it's going to open up a new window. This is the stats editor. We're going to come to our mod that we just created. Drop down. And then we're going to go to equipment. And click the plus And create an equipment. Bring down the drop down. And now we have a file. Double click that. And here is pretty much where we create the equipment that we like a preset of an equipment set. So let's just make this, call this something. And the initial weapon set is, I believe the equipment that they'll be using, uh, that they'll be like holding uh, in the, by default. So like maybe they'll have their bow showing instead of their two-handed. I'm just gonna leave it melee. And when you click here on the first uh, column, you can uh, go through and search and see what equipment you want. So go ahead and find the items you want to add. And I'm going to add some and I'll be right back. Okay, I've, I've gone ahead and added some items. Uh, I added a toy sword, a flame sword, and uh, some underwear. And that's her equipment. So let's go ahead and save this. Once you've saved your stats, your equipment stat file, you're going to click on the character you want to change and we're going to search for, we're going to find the equipment set. Here it says the character's equipment, new equipment sets can be created in the stats editor. For NPCs, this defines what gear they have, they are wearing and what they have in their inventory. And you can tick here if you want the equipment lootable. Most of the times it's ticked off, I think. Um, so we're gonna come here to this drop down and we're gonna find our example. There you go. And now she has our toy sword and uh, the flame sword. She's still wearing her, her old gear because you have to reload the level. For it to take effect 
But let me see. So you saw there was like a 20, 20 items you could add to equipment sets. And maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to add one item and not change her equipment. So to do that, you come here to the items, right? Singular items in a character's inventory. So I'm going to click here and this window will pop up. Here you can search for any items in game. We're going to give her the boots of speed. Now, try not to add a stats file because that's not actually the physical item. You want to add like a root template object uh, most of the time, but again, just test out and see. So we're going to give her the root template of speed of boots and we're going to give her uh, two pairs. Now, before we move any further, I want to show you something that you need to do for this to actually take effect into your into your game. Okay, I had to cut out to come and you know test this out real quick, but let me just show you what I found out. So I saved and reloaded, but when you click save, right, when you make the changes, you click save in your Gustav folder, um, which is again we're here at uh, our Baldur's Gate three data mods Gustav, and when you click save, it creates a folder in uh, in it instead of your mod so you can see here it creates it here and in, in, um and and this is the root template i um gui uh, guid in the editor so what you have to do for this to work in game is you have to move this over to your actual um mod itself that you're editing so i'm, I'm gonna move it over and now all this all the changes i've made when I enable that mod, it will work because before I would have, I would make the changes. I would load up, I would export my mod, load it up and nothing changed. That's why, that's why it wasn't reading those files. And she shows up in a global because of this, uh, this, uh, global tick up here is enabled. And let me just show you the other NPC I was working on. So I gave him the same gear as shadow heart. And let me just save his uh, changes. And you're going to see a, um, instead of a global, because he's not global, it's going to be in levels. It's going to create a levels subfolder. Now, when you first do this, it will create a levels in the Gustav folder. And I'll show you right now. I'm going to change this NPC over here. I'm going to change her equipment. So I'm going to click, I'm going to make her equipment change, right? So I'm going to save. And there you go. It's going to create a, uh, a level subfolder in my Gustav. And the reason, and the reason, um, it would create it in our mods is because I already edited and it has like, I guess, record of that NPC being edited. So again, it's going to have this character's, uh, G U Y D and changes. So I'm going to move this over to my mod. Okay, now when you when you go to f uh, file and reload level and story, this will um, you know change the uh, make the changes implement. But one nice thing is that whenever you make a change to a non-global NPC, the changes will will actually save to your mod. So you don't have to keep moving over the file. The thing I've noticed is that when I make a change to a global NPC, then you have to move it over. So just something to note. Anyway, let's move on to, I think that's it. So once you've, you've done that, well, let me move on to one more thing I've noticed. Okay, so you notice that when I changed the gear, you've already probably noticed that Shadowheart actually, her equipment actually changed. And if we go here to um, Portrait Visual Resource, 
and you click these three dots right here. What I've noticed is like um, shadow equipment, a uh, show equipment visuals right here is enabled and that allows equipment that they have to show uh, if, the, if it's equipped. How Baldur's Gate and how Divinity did it is that they have these, um, they have like, uh, I guess, um, and you'll see in the other NPC, but you'll see that they have a, a model that they just add on top. It's not really equipped gear. So we'll see, we'll show you real quick. The NPC I was editing, the other ones. You see here, uh, he still has his armor on even though I changed his equipment. And if I go to the visual portrait, you'll see he, he doesn't have that ticked on. And here in the body, you could see uh, the equipment he is wearing, but it's just visual. It's not really him wearing anything. And you can double click to remove it. And I'm assuming here you could, um, you could add your own visuals and then add it on top into the character. When editing these existing NPCs and saving this, it does not actually work. So I made these changes and I made a save. And you will see here now in game, he's not, he's wearing the underwear and he's, uh, he's not wearing his default armor visual. And I'm gonna make a save and, but it doesn't matter. That change doesn't actually get saved. I don't know how it's, um, how to get it to work at the moment. So if someone does figure something out, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but you can still add all this item. Just something I wanted to show. Something I wanted to tell you guys about. Anyway, now let's move on and just show you in game the changes. But before we do that, we have to export the mod. So let me come up here to projects, project settings. And let's publish locally. Uh, local publish the mod and you'll see here um, you know it's where your, where your mods are if you haven't if it doesn't default that then you know should be your app data local Larian Studios Baldur's Gate 3 mods so let's go ahead and save that and now let's go into game so as you can see, uh, in game she has the equipment we had and she has our gold that we set and the two pairs of um, boots of speed. Now here's the, the difference. You saw the two methods, right? The equipment is what they'll be, what she'll have equipped. So you saw me add these two boots of speed, but she's not wearing them. So you, if you want them to actually use it as uh, equipped gear, you have to add it as an equipment. Um, otherwise, they'll just have it in their inventory. Just to want to make that uh, distinction moving forward. And I'll go ahead and show you the uh, two NPCs that I edited. Okay, as you can see here, they have the uh, the toy sword and the flame sword, right? But if you noticed, um, when I was editing, I changed the visuals of one of them, right? And he's not, he's still wearing his, uh, his gear that, his visual, uh, gear, visual resource. So, again, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know the workaround to that, but once someone figures out how to do it, I'll let you guys know. But let's check if he has the items I gave him. I think I gave him some gold. So let's see. Okay, so there you go. He has the gold amount I gave him, the flame blade, and the uh, practice sword or the toy sword. So yeah, he has um, he has the the items I gave him. So so that's how you add items and change uh, equipment of NPCs in Baldur's Gate three.